My name's Shoni De La Rosa, I'm director and owner of Sheephead Films. I live here in Quienta, Navajo Nation. Sheephead Films actually began seriously about three years ago when I quit drinking. <laughs> well, our project right now is our first full feature, Mile Post 398. Um, basically, in a nutshell, the story is about a guy in his late mid 30s who's uh, lived a reckless lifestyle his whole life. Uh, just not a good, very good father, very good husband or anything, just drinks, parties, can't hold a job. And he just decides to turn his life around for the better, to be a better person. And uh, just shows how hard it is to do that. You know, a lot of people, you know, see people like that and say, shoot, why don't that guy just quit drinking, you know? And they make it sound simple, but in reality, it's not. It's, uh, it's a whole change life for yourself. It's a different lifestyle. It's hard to actually make that change. Everybody on this whole thing is all volunteer. Everybody believes in this story. They want to see it come to life. All the actors are volunteering their time. All the people on the crew are volunteering their time. We've got the support of you know some people in the Navajo Nation, um, the Navajo Nation Film Commission. You know they even waived our, our permit fee to do this. You know, and Hollywood does Hollywood producers just pay tens of thousands of dollars for those permits. You know, but you know we're, we're Navajo. They know us for the previous work that we've done. You know, and they're like, well, we believe in what you're doing with this story too, so we're going to support you 100 percent. People in the community, everybody's involved, and they they want to be a part of this. We're just ecstatic about, it, you know, we're so excited, and we just want to get busy and make this movie, man. Uh, my name is Gerald Vendor, and uh, I play uh, Atlani, but that's later on in the scene. And I'm also uh, the acting coach for uh, some of the actors who haven't had any training in acting. So I've been acting for eight, eight years now, seven, eight years. So I'm doing that for um, Shoney. My name is Dwayne Lake, and um, I'm just here filling in just for moral support. And I play a cashier or later in the movie. But um, that's about it. It's walking a dog. <laughs> My name is Kimberly White. I'm from Flagstaff, Arizona, and I play Gloria in the film Milepost 398. My name is Lee Benali, and I've always been into uh, the arts, and I've been good with my hands, and I mean, I try to find different projects I can work on, and one of them that came across me was uh, Shoney's uh, movie, and I asked him if uh, he does storyboard method and so we kind of uh, uh, got the idea together and we worked on it uh, together. We talked about the script, the story and all that and I kind of just described you know the whole aspect of each and every scene to him you know this is what I see this is what I picture. The uh, storyboard process is to give um, others a visual about what the movie might look like or what it could look like and the process of that is reading the script first and then using your imagination and drawing it out on paper. And the only thing I see is what's in my head but he puts it down on paper the way I describe it to him and it's like yeah that's what I want that's what I want you know and, and to me, I find it's an invaluable tool to, to our actors. You know, as we had rehearsals the other day with uh, the two actors for the chapter house scene. And it just kind of the storyboards and the location and the script itself, along with my descriptions, just kind of brought it all together for them. And, and it was so real. I mean, we acted out in front of the house, in front of our house, and the dogs were barking. They went up to go bite them, and the neighbors came out of the house all like, "Wow, what's going on? What's going on?" You know, because it's a domestic violence scene. And I mean, if we can make people run out of their houses to see what's going on, and make our dogs go up there and try to bite them, you know, you know, we got it. It's real. My name is Ruth Bradley. I am Shoni's mother, mother-in-law. So he's been working on his project for maybe over a year. So I'm just helping here and there. Thursday I was at work and there's a lady that came by and she said there was something 
while it was going on and I just took off and I came back up, I drove up here and then I came here and it just kind of really got me all emotional, upset. So my daughter and I would kind of stood there for a few moments and we had tears and it was very emotional. Movie shoot today for free. <laughs> what makes this film different, I guess, from a lot of other films that I've seen, is that uh, we're actually depicting what life on the res is really like. When the film's done, you know, people, when they watch it, it'll make them think about it, you know, when they leave, they'll talk about it, you know? And the only way to actually deal with these problems is to talk about it. You know, and this isn't like a public announcement type of movie, you know, that we're doing for Department of Behavioral Health or Social Services. This is something that we just want to do. It's real, you know, with the friends, the alcoholism, the domestic violence, the, the suicide and, you know, everything that falls in the film. And um, also, you know, Shoni really wanted to, really, really wanted an all Navajo, you know, Cass, and um, I think that was that was really great of him to do. I think the authenticity is very important because you know the the area where you live and what reservation you're from, you really know what's going on up there. There's some things that that uh, is duplicated on other reservations that you know that we can relate to but here it's uh there's a, a different aura a different feeling and a different kind of language too native cinema today when they're trying to portray us navajo people they did like i said they have non-navajos playing navajo parts trying to speak navajo it's, you know and oh it's wrong you know and it's like our language is you know it, it's important it's who we are it's where we come from you know and you know, I guess it's just a few filmmakers out there, you know, that actually take that seriously, pay attention to that, you know, and say, you know what, our language needs to be right, it needs to be portrayed correctly. Even simple words, I mean, you know, you know, like even a one line is like, you know, get out of here. It would sound, in English, it would just say, you know, get out of here, and it's, it's, there's no f funny thing to it. But for now, it was kind of rarely heard, but if somebody said Nguyen Chini, it's, it's something funny. I mean, just just the way to it because uh, of um, our own experiences, you know, when we're growing up, when we we're kids, that people rarely use that. And when they use it, it's just funny coming out of somebody, you know, coming out of somebody's mouth. In cinema, whether it be Hollywood or an independent filmmaker or whatever, you know, even if it's just a commercial or, or a PSA or a documentary or whatever, I mean, things need to be done right. You know, and it can't be just half-assed, you know, and it's just something that needs to be done and it needs to be portrayed correctly. And to me, it's, it's respect. It's respect towards our elders. It's respect towards our people. It's to remind us where we come from. Like this film, Milepost 398, that we're doing now, like I said, uh, we tried shooting it last year. We wrote the script. We got real excited to go out there and do it, you know, and said, let's get going. But and we started shooting and reality hit us, you know? It's like, we know we're not ready. We got a lot more planning to do. We got a lot more people to contact. We got to get more people involved. We need to get a crew. We need more actors, more locations, more time, money. Because <laughs> things cost money, you know? I mean, it's like on the set, you got to feed your actors. You got to give them something to drink, your crew, and all that, you know? And then if you want better quality, footage you need to get more better equipment like a camera lights microphone you got to edit it then you got to go out and buy an editing station you got to get the software and the computer and everything else that you would need to go with it but that all adds up you know but i think you know if you believe in something passionate enough you know you're not going to let any of those things get in your way those barriers get in your way you're going to figure out some way of doing it we plan on getting this film ready for full screening, opening, premiere by 2007.